we're going in depth about what the rewards are and there is something called discount factor that I'm going to show you. Well, as a result of talking about rewards, we're going to talk about penalties as well. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to have my agent in a, in a grid. Okay, so my environment is a grid. Okay, so this is my environment. Each one of these cells are going to be my state. My agent can either, uh, okay, let's write these down. My in, This is my environment. And my agent action can be, so action can be up, down, left, sorry, left, right. Um, okay, so those are my actions. And then uh, my states are gonna be each one of these cells. State is cell. And, um, and then we have rewards and discount factor that we're gonna talk about right now. When we are talking about discount factor, we are representing it with gamma. So just keep that in mind. Okay, my agent is going to be here. And then we have episode as well. Um, episodes are, episodes is each time that your agent starts and finish, okay? So whatever action that it was supposed to take, it's started and finished. Um, it's either successful, so it's either able to complete, and it either was able to complete the episode successfully or failed. Um, both of them are going to be an episode. And then we look at the episode, and the agent looks at the episode and it will decide that and which one was the best episode that happened. So um, it will correct its action according to what it was receiving. Like it's first basically learning from each one of the actions it took. Um, okay, so my agent is there. I'm going to give each one of these cells a reward and also penalty and some of them just don't have anything. So for example, I have here a 10. Next one is going to be minus 10. And then uh, next one is going to be a five. And this one is, for example, a hundred. And then I have um, another thing here, which is, for example, two. Um, and then I have 20 here. And then I have three. These ones don't matter. I just wanna show you two moves. Um, and I'm going through two episodes. I'm just gonna compare these two episodes with each other. The two episodes that I'm going to choose, uh, one is going to be here, so I'm going all the way to here because my agent can only move three cells. One, two, three. Uh, it's actually very, it's actually very similar to chess because each one of your pieces have different type of moves and um, things like that. Um, okay, so then for my next move, I'm going to move from there to here, okay? So now let's look at it as a simple reward system. Okay, there's nothing interesting happening here. It's just each one of the cells have either reward or penalty. And then each one of the episodes will tell you um, how much was your return. And then return is how much reward have you collected making those three moves, finishing that episode. Okay, so episode one, E1 is equal to, I have 10 minus 10 plus five. So from episode one, I gained five. My return was five. My reward is five. And then I'm going to episode two, it's going to give me, I'm going to add two plus 20 plus um, three. And my episode two is going to give me 25. Okay, so I'm comparing these two, episode one and episode two with each other. I'm going to say episode two is better. If you have to choose between these two movements, choose this move. In this specific example, this is going to be how it works. I'm going to just keep these um, on the side here. So um, without discount factor, I really hope that I said that we're going to talk about discount factor. I don't remember if I said it or not, but we're going to talk about discount factor in this video as well. Um, so E1 is equal to was I guess five it was, and then E2 is 25, okay? So these are what we got without the discount, without, geez. This is what we got without the discount factor, and this is, going to be the winner and um okay now i'm going to talk about discount factor 
This count factor is a number that we choose between zero, so between, there's a number that we choose between zero and one. So if this is your gamma, you have zero and one here. What discount factor does is that, for example, when I'm moving, uh, when I'm moving to this cell, or if, for example, let's do it four so I can reach the, um, reach the hundred as well. This is five. If, um, if my agent starts moving, there's a chance that this hundred is not there anymore. If that hundred is not there anymore, um, I don't want to count on it as much, okay? So I will give a discount to this. I'm like, okay, when you reach there, that hundred might not be there or it might be less. So don't really focus on that. Don't really count on it as much. Like think about it, have it in the back of your mind that there's a hundred here, but you might not get it. And depending on how much risk you want to take, you can change your um, discount factor. And then, um, so when I do that, when I say, when I say don't consider that that much, like I would say, I would choose a number between zero and one. I would say, for example, the chances of that being there is very low. So I'm going to say, just consider zero. Okay. So my gamma is going to be equal to zero. When I say the gamma is equal to zero, uh, now let's just calculate what we are getting. Um, Okay, let me first tell you, when your gamma is equal to zero, your agent is going to be very short-sighted and we will see why your agent becomes short-sighted. Um, so let's consider uh, when the gamma is equal to zero, I'm not going to put it here, when the gamma is equal to zero, let's calculate the same movements, okay? Uh, but and, and also, I just wanted to give you an example, so I don't need that to go there anymore. I just want to make three moves. Um, Okay, so my episode one again is going, my episode one is going to again be the same path that we got five here, but right now it's different because our gamma is zero. So my episode one is going to be equal to anything to the power of zero is one. Zero to the power of two is zero. Um, okay, the, fir the first cell that I'm going to You bet it, you bet it remember this correctly because if not, I'm not going to record this video again. So the first cell is 10, okay? And then when I add this to the next one, my next one is uh, going to be zero. The, the next one is going to be multiplied by zero. So minus 10 multiplied by zero is just zero. And then five multiplied by zero is again just zero, okay? So what now, what I'm getting here, my episode one is giving me um, a 10, okay? So if my episode one is giving me a 10, as you can see, the rest of them doesn't matter to my agent anymore. So my agent is very short-sighted right now. It's just looking at the immediate reward because the rest of the rewards doesn't affect him anymore, okay? It just ignores um, everything afterward. And then as you can see, like when the number goes a little bit higher, a little bit higher, then your agent start paying more attention because now your minus 10 is not going to be zero anymore, but it's going to be a little bit lower, uh, a little bit lower. So now this is episode one. For episode two, I'm going to calculate the same for gamma for episode two. I have 223. Again, I'm going to get two, but the rest of them are gonna be zero because our gamma factor is zero, right? So episode two is going to give me a two. Right now, when you're looking at it with our discount factor, which is zero, um, my episode one is going to give me a better result than episode two. So as you can see, the result of a change, once once you apply the discount factor, the result of a change, I'm going to put the um, equation for discount factor on the screen and then you can, uh, you, you can just replace it. So wherever you see gamma, that means your discount factor, whatever that is, okay? And then you can calculate your own situation. You can calculate your own scenarios yourself. I'm just going through the extreme right now to show you um, how your agent is going to behave in extremes because if it's not an extreme it's just a calculation and based on that calculation you would get say uh, you would get a number and I believe 
um, when uh, when they tested these stuff, they I think the best result that you're getting is going to be. Um, this is not what I say. This is what they have. Uh, this is what they researched and figured out. This is what they tried and figured out. It's like zero point ninety five to zero point ninety nine. But um, I'm not hundred percent sure. But you, you can just Google it if you want to figure or ChatGPT. Okay, so uh, w when we had it without episode, when we had it without discount factor, episode two one, and then when we had it with discount factor of gamma zero, uh, our episode one one. Okay, so I'm going to just put these two up there because now I want to use my space for a gamma equal to one. Um, so my episode one was a 10, my episode two was a two, and episode one, one. Um, so yeah, as you can see, my, my agent at this point is completely short-sighted. It doesn't care about any other cells, it just cares about the immediate cell in front of it. Um, and then I'm going to now look at another extreme, which is uh, gamma equal to one. So when gamma is equal to one, my agent is uh, going to, it's going to be similar to without discount factor. So um, episode one is again going to be 10 minus 10 plus five, and that is going to give me um, a five. And then my episode two is equal to 25 again because the, uh, and the addition of these numbers. So now, again, for gamma equal to one, episode two is going to win. Your agent take action in the environment and the state and the action decide on how much reward your agent is going to collect and the return, which is all of the um, reward that your agent was able to uh, accumulate is going to show if that episode uh, was better than the other one. So, and then when checking checking with these episodes, your agent understand uh, what was the best moves, and and when uh, they repeated multiple times trying it with different type of states, um, it will figure out that what would be the best action to get the maximum rewards. And then um, another thing that another thing that we talked about was the discount factor. Um, for discount factor, you choose a number between 0 and 1. That can be 0 0.8, 0 0.5, 1, or 0. And when you are choosing your gamma as 1, it doesn't have that much effect. It's going to be very similar to without discount factor. But when you have your discount factor as low as 0, um, your agent is going to be very short-sighted short because only the immediate reward is going to affect it. And the other reward, even though this is minus 10, um, it's actually a penalty, um, your agent doesn't care about it because it doesn't affect it. So based on what you're trying to do, you want to choose the um, best route.